Hello, beautiful people around the world. I hope everyone is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life, man. Just here to make sure you have an okay life. And I want y'all to know you never know what somebody's going through. So please spread that love. Salute to all my truckers, man. Yes, indeed. We, are, we support our truckers. Love. And I was, last night, um, I was in tears, man, on social media, thinking about my dad and just missing my dad, man. You know, and salute to all my fathers out there and parents out there and hard workers out there. You know, my dad busts his butt, man. He died on the way to work. And, you know, it happened so, so fast, man. 23 years of age. And, you know, now I have to live and figure everything out kind of by myself. And, you know, I miss my old mans, you know. So, y'all, don't, don't take this time for granted, man. You know, but salute to all my hard workers. There's a lot of hard workers out there, a lot of truckers and dads out there on the road. And some of them have been my family and friends, you know, out there right now as we speak. So I just want to just send a huge, a crazy amount of love right now to all my truckers, anybody out there on that road. We're wishing you safe travels, you know, that you make it home safe, that you make it to your destination safe. God bless all you beautiful people around the world, man. But um, I found this video last night, and I was just, I was crying, and I said, I gotta, I gotta let you guys hear this and and share this before we get into today's video. Um, so I'm gonna just play this real quick. And again, I love you guys, man. And I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life, man. And I want to just say thank you to all our drivers out there, to all our truckers. And again, we're wishing y'all nothing but the best, man, in 2024. Truck drivers don't talk about how hard it is to walk out the front door, knowing it could be weeks before we see our families again, yes. or how we promise our kids we'll be back when we know there's a chance that we may not. Calling up an old friend to talk about old times, <clears throat> but all they want to talk about is last weekend when you were a thousand miles away. Working a long 14 hour day, backing in and shutting down. Shutting down. Open up social media just to see family and friends gathering. Mm. Mm. Makes you feel like life could go on without you. These are the burdens that we bear. Thank you, drivers. Hope y'all. Took that one in, man. Um, and again, I was in tears last night. So, uh, and I'm glad that that was on my, that, that you know, you know how they just automatically suggest and recommend stuff to you? I'm glad that this was suggested and recommended to me. And I was like, I got to go find this. I have to go find it, man. But, um, man, it's, it's it's been a crazy past week, man, especially with this boycott. Um, trucker for Trump, baby. You know what I'm saying? And I'm um, trying to keep you guys as updated as we can. I'm trying to find as many reliable sources, resources um, on this situation. And again, we support our truckers, man. And we're wishing the best in everybody's life, man. I don't care what skin color you are, where you're from, what age, you know, where you stand on what side of the line. Just know that I love you and I'm wishing the best for you. But this one's titled... New York City trucker boycott still causing chaos and empty roads. Proof inside. And again, this is from Route Rethinker. So let's check it out, you guys. The original link will be in the description box down below. And thank y'all for all the love, the support, people reaching out to me. The comments have been going crazy. The emails, the Discord chat. Y'all are such a blessing, man. And I love y'all. Let's check it. Let's check it. And again, if you're new to the channel, hit, hit that like button and join the OK Life family. As I wish you the best in everybody's life, man. Hit that subscribe button join the okay life family man we're building a huge community empire family on here man and we're just gonna spread love to one another and we're gonna keep it real you know but uh, let's check it out take a look at this the buzz around new york city isn't dying down anytime soon mm. especially with the truckers for trump boycott that's still in full swing we've got footage rolling in from a trucker cruising down the new york jersey turnpike and guess what 
It's a complete ghost town. There's barely trucks in sight. This highway is usually packed with vehicles heading in and out of New York and it's missing its key players. So this is a post that happened yesterday on Tuesday, February 27th, Richard Thompson 36 on TikTok. And he goes on and shows you what the New Jersey Turnpike Highway looks like. So take a look at this. Check it out. So this is the New Jersey Turnpike, one of the main arteries going into to New York. We're about 50 miles. We're about 50 miles away from New York City or New York, basically. <sighs> And this is the, this is one of the main arteries going north and south before you pick up either 80 or you can get onto 287 and go across to uh, Tappan Z. But usually it's flooded through here. See, usually it's so busy that these three lanes that we're on, these are restricted for trucks. Mm. Now, I'm not going into New York City or I would I would make more video but mm. I don't see I don't see any reefer units. I don't you know, like what I mean by reefer units are trucks hauling produce. Produce, yeah. So usually they're these are all they're all produce trucks running through here, but most of these trucks that we see are dump trucks. Mm. Uh those are going south. They're leaving out of this area. Containers, container trucks, um, day cabs, That's what you like. know, which work, you know, in the city, city work. Because, you know, there's a lot of people that work around here. They're going to keep on working, obviously. But I just think it's odd because it's really quiet. Usually it's so packed through here. If you, if you need to get in the passing lane, it. You know, you guys put your blinker on and sit there for 15 minutes before somebody will finally let you in. <clears throat> but this is 95, the New Jersey Turnpike, headed towards New York City. And it's quiet. Mm. Like I said, I'm, I got about 20 miles. I'm going to exit off. I'm delivering to New Jersey. But usually when you see a bunch of produce trucks, you know, reefer units, you know that they're going, you know, good chances are they're going over there towards New, New York somewhere. And I'm not seeing any of that. It's awfully quiet. Oh, man. And also, you have a few other people that that have chimed in and said it's pretty quiet. I've driven that stretch many times. It's usually packed in the truck lanes. I'm not even seeing buses either. Some people are saying hopefully this boycotting continues and more truckers join in. Some people says I hope we can do a butt light on New York City. And then some people but says light. otherwise. Some people <laughs> says there are trucks going and leaving from New York City every day. I live ten miles from New York City. You really don't know what you're talking about. So. Let's talk about this. It's not even about avoiding the highways. Truckers are straight up refusing loads. Okay, we have a trucker named Zay the Truck Driver. And Zay the Truck Driver just recently tweeted this afternoon. He says, got sent a load that delivers to New York. I called my dispatch and, ha and had a nice, respectful, but firm conversation about that load. And now I'm heading to Tennessee instead. Oh, man. Got sent a load that delivers to New York. I called my dispatch and had a nice, respectful, but firm conversation about that load. And now I'm headed to Tennessee instead. <laughs> Truckers for Trump, baby. Truckers for Trump. Y'all about to stand on business. We standing on business in 2024. We standing on business in 2024, beautiful people. So he's saying straight up that he told his dispatcher with a clear message, no New York, send me to Tennessee instead. Now this whole movement has even rattled the cages in the governor office of New York. So there was a rumor that was going on that, that the governor of New York warned truckers that the NYC boycott was a hate crime against migrants. Well, today articles are now fact checking on what the governor said of New York. Governor Hochul didn't actually warn truckers that the New York boycott is a hate crime against migrants. Okay, governor 
Governor Hochul didn't call it a hate crime against migrants or threaten to seize truckers home. That was a big fat false flag waving to the wind of the rumors. Now the real tea is that the boycott was sparked right after Trump got hit with the $355 million judgment. Some truckers are showing solidarity hitting the road in any direction but New York. Now, despite what the grapevine says, there's no word from Hochul about seizing anything from anyone. It's business as usual for her, reassuring New York's business folks that they're nothing like Trump if they play by the rules. Now, this is what this article basically is saying. There's a lot of fact checking in this article about how there's no credible reports that Harco warned truckers that refusing deliveries to New York that it amounts to a hate crime against people living in the country illegally. That you have it. What do you guys think about that? I mean, that is a big statement to put on the governor of New York. But here's where it gets juicy. While some truckers are loud and proud about skipping New York City, not everyone's broadcasting their moves. The streets of New York residents says that they're just as busy, trucks and all. So what's the real impact here? Are the shelves staying stocked because not enough truckers joined the boycott? Or are the trucks just not as visible? It's been a minute since the boycott kicked off and opinions are very split between the two. Some says it's making waves, others feel like it's barely causing a ripple. With Trump's mm. ruling standing firm and the election on the horizon, truckers yep. are at a crossroad. Will they keep the pressure on or is this just the beginning of a longer battle? Adding fuel to the fire, a recent development in Illinois has stirred the pot even more. A Cook County judge ordered Donald Trump to be removed from the Illinois primary ballot, citing the 14th Amendment. This move immediately stayed pending appeal isn't just a local issue. It's mm. a part of a larger battle with several states considering disqualifying Trump due to the event of January 6th. The U.S. Supreme Court pending decision on a similar case in Colorado could set a president affecting Trump's candidacy nationwide. Now, this decision has truckers boiling over. One trucker that's known on X, the disrespected trucker, is saying that I don't care if I park my truck, if I have to boycott every single state, that's what I'll do. I know how to do other things. Mm. So they're vowing to boycott any state daring to remove Trump from the ballot. Oh, and he declares that he's ready to shift gears away from driving if it means standing up for what he believes in. Hmm. So what's your take? Is this a boycott fling moment? Y'all comment or down below, Or are we below, looking man. at a deeper divide as the elections draw near? With states picking sides on the Trump ballot issue, the term oil could escalate, pushing more truckers to take a stand. Do you see the boycott ending anytime soon? Or is it just the start of a more widespread action? Drop your thoughts and let's dive into this. The road Comment down below, you guys. Seen some of y'all in the comments uh, saying y'all not paying y'all taxes. <laughs> you know? We see New York will be a ghost city. I love it. Let's keep supporting it. I've seen plenty of trucks going the other way as well. People, and these, these, are, these are people in the comments, you guys. You truckers are doing the right thing. Let me see. They're testing us. First, we're the cellular computers, AT&T. <laughs> People are still talking about that AT&T situation, man. Y'all fed up with AT&T, huh? <laughs> but again, man, um, again, we're going to try to keep you guys updated as we can um, and try to get more inside with more resources revolving around this, this, this boycott, you know, truckers for Trump type of deal. And again, just a salute to all our truckers, man. No matter what at the end of the day is going on, salute to all my truckers. We're wishing safe travels to you guys, my brothers and sisters, and also to anyone out there in the transportation business, man. It is crazy out there on them roads. People are tired, exhausted. They work hours and hours, day in, day out. I mean, it's, it's you know, people are, are worn out, man, burnt out. You know, some don't miss the time with their families. Well, most miss time with their families. They miss special events, birthdays, holidays, you know, key, uh, events for their key, special moments and memories with their kids, you know. So that's one reason what I want people to understand making these videos, you know. Um, there's also another big point to this as well. You know, it's not just Trump, you know what I'm saying? It's another big point, man, with uh, life, reality, you know. But I love y'all, man. I'm wishing the best in everybody's life. And hey, I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. 
hit that like button, join the OK Life family, and I will catch y'all in the next one, man. Peace and love, you guys.